question was, can, can shooting cause hearing loss? Um, in West Texas, um, uh, lots of people shoot, shoot guns, me included. Um, and so it is, it is a definitely a problem. It's something that we actually ask our patients on a regular basis as far as their noise exposure. Um, questions will say, you know, are you have you shot guns? Did you grow up shooting guns? A lot of people will say, well, I shot them when I was younger, but now I haven't in years. Um, one shot um, without hearing protection can cause permanent hearing damage. So an impulse noise of 140 decibels at one time can cause permanent damage. So depending on the gun that you're shooting. Um, it can, in one shot, cause the damage. Um, even if you're not the one shooting the gun, if you're with somebody that's shooting the gun, it's actually probably worse just because the person shooting the gun is cocking their head a certain way and so they're getting damage to one ear, but if you're sitting right next to them, you're getting the blunt of the, of the shot as well. So it's important if you're both the shooter and the person that's um, with the, the shooter, um, it's really important for you to wear hearing protection. So earplugs that you put in your ears, um, the foam ones are, are good if you put them in appropriately, um, but sometimes if you're shooting a, a bigger gun that's got a lot more noise, you can double up actually with your hearing protection. protection. So you can wear the earmuffs on top of having the plugs in your ears. Um, and that really does help um, block out those noises, as well as if you if you had like a custom uh, earplug as well. So if you go to an audiologist, you can have them make your your custom earphones as well. Um, so those those would actually be made for your ears, so you know for sure that it's in appropriately. And then you can also double up with those too. Um, they do make electronic ones that are a little more expensive. Um, so if you're a real avid shooter and you do competitions and that kind of thing, that might be something that you look into as well. So the way that you'll know that um, you have hearing damage through shooting a gun would be um, real similar to like going to a concert or listening to music too loud through your headphones. So um, with an impulse noise like that, you may feel like you have cotton in your ears, everything may feel a little bit muffled, you may have that ringing in your ear for a period of time. Usually if that doesn't go away within two weeks, it is permanent. So we typically recommend that if you feel like you have um, a loud noise or some kind of explosion to one side of your, your ear and you do have that ringing in your ear, go see an audiologist. And it doesn't matter if it's been two weeks, um, you, could, you could see them initially and then we could test again in a couple of weeks just to see if that temporary threshold shift comes back up or if it is indeed permanent hearing loss.